contrary to popular belief, uh, our previous work where we had uh, subjected non-cardiac surgical patients on the general care floor to continuous pulse oximetry monitoring, and, and this was blinded uh, monitoring with alarms silenced, we had uncovered that up to 90% of episodes of desaturation, and desaturation being a oxygen saturation less than 90% for at least an hour of monitoring time, were being missed which means that almost all of desaturation episodes were being missed based on standard protocol-based monitoring at a large academic institution. And uh, this is alarming and this is disturbing. There was a problem, we had identified a problem, and we still not, did not have a full set of predictors or guidance for the clinician. And that is where the Prodigy trial comes in. The Prodigy trial then is an effort to build a strong, robust, and easily usable risk scoring system that every clinician or bedside nurse can use in trying to estimate risk of a respiratory or a cardiorespiratory decompensation event in on our patient. And why Prodigy is different is because while our previous work had looked at a single variable in that oxygen desaturation was what we looked at, Prodigy was then the culmination of four sets of variables. We looked at entitled CO2, we looked at respiratory rate, we looked at heart rate, and we looked at oxygen saturation. The risk prediction, which is the primary outcome of uh, Prodigy, we will get enormous amounts of insights in how patients behave on the normal ward in hospitals. In different hospitals, ranging from academic to usual hospitals, which helps us to get new insights and new information about the respiration, but also other factors which can be responsible for patient behavior in the post-operative period. I feel the Prodigy study is important because it's meeting an unmet need of providing patients with continual monitoring post-operatively so the healthcare providers can understand when a patient is decompensating so they can intervene early. What I find exciting about Prodigy is that you're introducing bedside capnography to hospital wards and lower acuity settings, which is where a substantial number of these events happen. It's exciting because this is the first real-time study where we're looking at patient factors and correlating them with adverse outcomes using this technology. The Prodigy study is one of the most important studies I've ever done. Uh, it's really important because I feel very strongly that the issue of respiratory distress uh, for all patients who are on regular nursing floors, having the ratio of 1 to 12 uh, uh, patients per nurse is extremely important to take care of. Uh, we see a lot of mishaps and we need to prevent that from happening for the future. Prodigy has been um, a large international trial which has um, basically shifted the focus not only on uh, monitoring, continuous monitoring of oxygenation, but also continuous monitoring of ventilation in patients who are on medical and surgical floors and who get IV opioids. And it opens um, a door to this kind of uh, clinical investigation and more studies of this nature in the future. And uh, I don't think we have had up until this time, studies of this scale with newer majors um, addressing this question. Besides the surgical population, we always will get insight into the effects of pain therapy in medical patients, which is an upcoming issue because we cannot ignore the fact that some of our therapies, in particular the use of opiates to treat pain, have severe side effects resulting in probably complications for our patients.